Okay, hi everybody, it's Mark and Jamie. There's Mark. We are on a different adventure than usual. We are on the ocean. We're at my aunt's house in Florida and she lives in Newport Ritchie and we are in deep channel water on the edge of the Gulf Coast. And say hi, Mark. We thought we'd do a video of a little bit different adventure for us. We're on kayaks in deep channel water with giant boats going by us everywhere. Um, yeah. What do you got to say, Mark? What do I have to say? <clears throat> so this is a really cool um, land development, right? Mm -hmm. Have all these fingers um, where everybody gets access to the water. And you can have uh, pontoons or fishing boats or sailboats. It's really a cool area. And it's what, 75 today and a little breezy. Yeah, beautiful though. We came out of Chicago and it was negative seven wind chill when we left. And we just came here for a quick weekend to get away from work and get away from all the worries. And we're like enjoying every second of it because it's warm and sunny and yep. we miss the sun. It's time to paddle. So we hopped on the kayaks and went for a little adventure. Because we don't want to be in front of that. Out. Okay, it is videoing. This is Jamie's favorite. No, it's not my favorite. But Sorry it's favorite. about the chainsaw noise. So they didn't have a porch, so they put curtains around their like portico or their and turned it into like a lanai. Very cool. Okay, quick, this tree's falling deep water yeah we got to ask them what the depth is yeah, it's deep. I would think at least 15 if not more well, it's dark. you know with some of these sailboats yeah. but we made it to the end some of them are really big. and we got out of the wind there's all kinds of different houses some yeah. we're, at, we're big, at the end of a channel in Newport Ritchie in one of the deep channel water subdivisions and there's everything from rebuilts to tiny little Florida Floridian houses and pools no pools some look like they haven't changed since 1950 the boats are amazing such a variety can't even imagine taxes are really low and weather's amazing This is where the dolphins run in the channel. Although I haven't gotten any this weekend, but I will. So far they've run in the earlier morning, right? I was up at 4.30 watching them for two yeah. hours, trying to watch them. But that's well. like the best time, isn't it? Usually I see them really early in the morning. Yeah. Remember last year I got that one that breached the water? Mm -hmm. Like. So hopefully we'll get a dolphin shot on this. Yep, palm trees. Pelicans, seagulls. Spurs trees. What's the stuff along the edge? Baby. What's the stuff along the edge? Uh, uh, mangrove. Mangrove, that's it. So some houses have little boats. Some houses have no boats. Some houses have Some many houses boats. Have this place has four different boats. I guess one for each uh, style of boating. Center council, catamaran, cruiser, sailboat, kayaks. Down there's a catamaran style. Just a really neat place to visit.
mangrove. How would you ever get in there? Huh? How would you ever get in there? I don't know. This is like the wall that Oh, you missed that bird. It sticks out so far from the land. That was nice. That was a bird. Oh, yep. Hey, oh, I heard him. Um, whoa, the current's strong in here. We're gonna have to back that. Current is strong, Padawan. It doesn't connect through though, does it? What? It doesn't connect through. No, but right on the other side of that is open ocean. Oh, I, I think I see it through that hole there. See if there's any fish down there. All right, let's see what's underwater. All right, well, I don't think we saw anything. Good morning, YouTubers. It's Mark and Jamie, only Mark's still sleeping. I'm sitting in my favorite place in my aunt's house in the morning, right on the end of the channel. So pretty. Sometimes the dolphins come. The tide's out, and I don't know anything about that, but there's no dolphins right now. So I'm waiting for them. I usually get up when it's dark and watch the sun come up. So they have a couple boats, the pontoon, and then Beautiful 42 foot Catalina sailboat. And it is amazing. It's so funny, they always think it's cold and they're like, Are you gonna sleep on the boat? You could sleep inside. <laughs> and we think, uh, No, we're gonna sleep on the boat. Anyway, today is shaping up to be an amazing day, so we'll see what adventures we can find. I just saw some big jump out there, so I was hoping it was dolphins coming in. I almost can't believe this is the ocean right now because it's so calm. Yesterday we went kayaking and we were like paddling against the current back and it was not easy even though we're in a kind of protected mangrove channel. But down this and to the left is wide open ocean. So. Hey everybody, it's Mark and Jamie. This time we have a GoPro. Last time we lost our interviews. Um, yeah, so this is us. And we're going to Big Aruba today. It's not really Aruba, but we call it Aruba because there's a little sandbar that we call Little Aruba, which we didn't coin the phrase, somebody else did. But and today we're going to the bigger one because it's high tide probably going to be underwater. Plus it's a Sunday and um, whatever sand there is there might be crowded. So we're in the middle of the ocean, a couple miles out. I hope you can hear us. There's the land. But the ocean is the ocean. This is a gulf. And a gulf is an enclosed body of water. 
and so it has its own unique properties, its own unique fish, its own unique everything. So it's a separate ecosystem. Absolutely, it's calmer than the than the ocean. It's warmer than the ocean, and it's shallower in most places than the ocean. So when, what point do they consider it the open ocean when you get out there? When you're not in the Gulf. I mean, I don't mean to be. That's true. Okay. A Gulf is an enclosed body of water. So this is a Gulf because it has all of the land of. Uh, Florida, Louisiana, Texas, Mexico, surrounding it, and it has an opening, and that opening takes it out to the Atlantic Ocean and the Caribbean Sea. Okay. And the, the area that is the opening down by the Keys and Cuba, okay. that area is called, specifically called the Florida Straits. Okay. And and that's that's where everything happens. That's where the, the Gulf Stream waters come in from the Caribbean, and they circle around the Gulf of Mexico, and they bring with it warm water and tropical fish and certain kinds of whales that you wouldn't see in the, in the Atlantic. Okay. The Atlantic Ocean on the east coast of Florida is a totally different body of water. Yeah. It's This is green, that's deep blue. It's There's like huge differences. So I know a lot of people come down here on vacation and they call it the ocean, but really it's totally different. The Gulf. Yeah. Okay, cool. And I prefer this side to the other side anyway. Oh, I always we have. Too. We do too, yeah. It's warmer, it's calmer. Yeah, it's, we really do too. It is feels there, more tropical. Is there differences in uh, salinity? Um, you know, I'm not technically aware of that. That's an interesting it, question. It might be, there might be. But what there is difference is, is the wave action. There's a huge difference oh, in the wave gosh. action here. Like, you'll have chop. Like this, what we're experiencing today is about a foot of chop. And it's just a short little wave. Whereas if you were on the Atlantic today and you were five miles offshore like we are, you'd most likely have a fairly big swell. Yeah. And and those are like big, deep rolling waves. Right. More like the Pacific. And even on the beach with the shore, right. you, you can More tell. More like the Pacific. Yeah. So, you know, for all practical purposes, it's really a different body of water. That's interesting. Yeah, it is. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is the island we're going to, which is... I don't know, is it an island or just a oh, big no, sandbar? Okay. It's an, it's an island that's about, it's a barrier island that runs in the barrier island chain that goes from here all the way down to the Keys. Oh, okay, all cool. All the beach communities like Treasure Island and Longboat Key and Siesta Key, Captiva, those are all the same as this. They're barrier islands that run along the coast. Wow. And uh, they basically protect the coast from, okay. the, from big storms. So, this is five miles out into the Gulf. It is one of the barrier islands. Does it have a technical name? Yeah, it's called Anclode Key. Anclode Key. And um, it's about two miles long. Two miles long. And about, oh, I don't know, maybe a mile wide and it's white as white. Wow. And it's white sand. Yeah, it's oh, white sand beautiful. Oh, look at the, look at little Aruba. And that's the sandbar. It's packed. I don't know if you can see that. There's like a hundred boats there on a tiny little sandbar. So, hence the reason we're not going there today. We've been there a million times. Side of the island. Yeah. And that was like, oh my god, it was fantastic. You know, it's like pitch black on the island. I know. So many jokes. What? Yeah, right. Okay, so let me ask you something. They didn't notice him building that? I don't know. Okay, so apparently this was an illegally built tiki hut in the Gulf, next to Anclody Island. And he won. Hang on, slow down, slow down. Smell that fish. Ooh, yummy. Okay, where are we at? The north shore of? Anclody, part of the Anclody Key. Anclody. That runs all the way down. In, uh, uh, in the Gulf of Mexico. Back home it's snowing in Illinois. So we're shelling on this island five miles out. Okay. You want me to run through the birds? Don't run through them. That's <laughs> mean. Just, I just thought it was really pretty. Just walk with them. Look, is that a pelican? Be in harmony with the birds. Harmony. Here's another big shell just sitting upside yeah. down. This one's pretty cool though, it's like so huge.
a soap dish. So Same now thing we're here. For sand dollars. This one, oh, that one's got a hole in them. It doesn't matter, but. There's a sand dollar. A full one? Is it? No. I don't think so. No. Nope. Oh, that's a goose poop. <laughs> <laughs> Not goose, seagull. Seagull poop. My aunt doesn't like the seagulls, I don't think, that much because, what did she call me yesterday? The sea rats when I was trying to feed the fish off the dock? Yeah. I know my boss likes the sandpipers though, so get some of the little sandpipers. Laura, there's little sandpipers. It's such a, interesting how the different species just get along together. I don't know if they're getting along. <laughs> Hanging out on the beach together. So sand dollars you can find like somewhat submerged and you just see like a white little top. So my aunt is better at it than us, but they're back at the boat. So we'll keep you informed. Can't tell what's goose poop in, in sand dollars. This is like the little, we call it little Aruba. You can see the coloration difference in the water. Well, this is high tide, so it's underwater, but it's so shallow. Look at those girls out there and it's like up to their knees. But at low tide, this is an island. And it's a sandbar with amazing shelling. But it's Sunday today and oh, my goodness, look at all these boats. Cray cray. It's so fun, but it's just too small right now. There's just a thin strip of sand and tons and tons of people. And just to remind you, we are five miles out in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico. So that is kind of weird. Not for these people, but it is for me. Yeah, so there it is. Still really fun.